Hey everybody, 2019 is here. Wade Vandermolen with Stuart Title in Fairfax, Virginia. And I want to do a video today, and I did a vlog as well, uh, focusing on the title insurance sales rep. And usually once or twice a year, I like to create something that I think is valuable to you guys, uh, that'll help you throughout the year to be successful. And usually I do something that's like, hey, how to grow or how to do this. This one, I want to talk to the people who I think are struggling, and I think uh, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, there's not a lot of training for title sales reps, so uh, these are the reasons why I think you might be struggling in the job and how you could fix that uh, and correct it and get your business moving in the right direction. So as I talk to a lot of title sales reps out there, a lot of their plight and their issues are the same. So, for instance, the first one is you're not using your time very efficiently. Right to me, time is one of the most important things that's, that we can, we have in this job, because it's finite. Right, we only have a certain amount of days, hours, and weeks to get things done, to create business, grow, cl get clients, and turn that into revenue. So, if you're talking to the wrong people, meaning that there's a lot of realtors and lenders out there, thousands, but we're only trying to talk to this this portion right here, right, the top 20% that's doing the deals. They run a business like a business, they have a team, they're high producing people, they're driven people. You know, these are the people that are doing the deals, that's who we wanna to talk to. So, you know, you're not talking to the right people, uh, you're driving around in your car, doing the milk route, dropping off tchotchkes, trying to get past the front desk person to get back to talk to some agents, and usually the top producing agents, they're not in the office anyway, so you're talking to probably the underperformers or the newbies. Uh, you know, so that could be a waste of your time, especially if you're driving around all the time. You're not calling the right people. Uh, you, you're, you're struggling converting someone on the phone to an appointment. You get to the appointment, you fumble in the appointment because you don't know what business value questions you should be asking them uh, in that terms. And so you're struggling to get conversions over, right? And at the end of the week or the, the week or the month, you're like, I didn't probably bring in anything. You know, I did a lot of activities. I did a lot of stuff but that stuff didn't turn into business. And there's a, there's a reason for that. You're, there's a, there's a, something you're doing wrong. Okay, so for instance, call non-directing customers. These are people that are on the transaction with your client. So let's say a client sends you a transaction to your company. There's usually another agent on the other side of the transaction who's not your client. Call that person, reach out, thank them for the business, and offer to set an appointment with them and how you can talk about how you can help them build their business. You know, take uh, a lender, and go take them to a sporting event or do something with them and have them invite a realtor client that produces that you don't currently work with, you know, uh, to get referrals. Use your current clients to get referrals. Use and leverage social media to build awareness and let people know what you're doing. Learn how to speak publicly and teach classes and draw in the right people who want to learn the thing that you're teaching and then get them on an appointment. Pretty easy to get someone on an appointment if they're already interested in what you're doing. Right, and they see value in it. So if you're struggling, if you're struggling to pull people over, that might be part of the reason why you're just not using your time very efficiently. Secondly, your value proposition stinks, or maybe you don't even have one. So what is a value proposition? A value proposition is the one thing or two things that you offer or do that makes you unique and above your competition, that makes you stand out in a crowd. And if I go out and talk to an agent or a lender and say, hey, I'm Wade to Stewart Title and I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread and I'm a nice guy and my company's amazing, send me all your business and stop using who you're currently using, that's not going to work, okay? People that get into title sales think that's how it works, but it's not, okay? There's not enough value there for them to say, I'm gonna make the switch because I see a difference. If you can show them how to, how to lead generate, how to convert clients, how to get found on the internet, how to grow awareness on social media, right? How to get more qualified eyes to their business here. Okay, these are all business building things, right? Because in the end, we don't really sell title insurance. We're selling the relationship and the relationship is, I'm gonna help you grow, okay? So once that starts to form, you get known as the value prop guy or girl who can help someone, okay? So focus on learning a value proposition and maybe you gotta create your own. I kind of created my own, as you can kind of see, but it is what it is, okay? Next is they're not taking direction very well from either a sales manager or a title sales rep who has a proven track record of, of success. And I'm saying, I'm saying this because I've seen this many times. If they have a proven track record of success and they're offering you 
help and advice about how to grow and you say, ah, whatever, they did it their way, I'm gonna go out and do it my way, and then after a month, you didn't bring in anything, right? Maybe you should have listened to them, right? So if you're, if someone's offering you good advice, and again, they have a proven track record, take a listen, listen to get the free advice. I never had that free advice, right? So take, listen to them and maybe it'll help you. Lastly, it comes down to hard work. And to be successful in title sales or in real estate or lending or anything else, it takes hard work. And that means showing up. That means willing to learn new stuff, not just, oh, well, like I got these four things that I know, or here's the tires, here are the tools my title company has, and you know, that's all that I need. But what if all that stuff was gone? What if they, what if all that stuff was removed and you had to go out and it was just you and you had to convert people over? What do you do then? Right? So learning new stuff that all realtors, lenders might need in their business. How to beat Zillow and Trulia on the internet. How to grow an online presence. How to use social media and Facebook ads. What are better farming strategies. How to generate more listings. How to convert renters into buyers. Things that actually help them make money and grow. So if you can learn one, two, or three, or four of those things and use that in the field to help them, you're gonna have people coming to you to work with you. So it's gonna be less outbound and it's gonna be outbound and inbound, okay? So if you're, if you're not willing, if you have great big goals to shoot and have great big numbers in the title business, that's awesome. But I see a lot of people only wanting to do moderate work to hit that number and then they never do, right? So you gotta be on all the time. You know, we work seven days a week. Clients call us and email us all the time, nighttime, daytime, weekends, what have you, sponsoring events, weekends, during the week, events at night, you know, whatever it takes to get in front of the people that can bring you business that you can grow a relationship with and then get referrals from. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, I, this is all stuff that I instill onto my team and things that I even still do myself and I gotta remind myself that this is how, how you really grow. Uh, I'm Wade Vanderbilt at Stuart Title in the Washington DC, Northern Virginia area. I'm here to help, uh, dctitleguide.com. If you've never been on my website, click around. I got a bunch of stuff that'll be helpful to realtors, lenders, and title sales reps. And then you can fill out a form below. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and uh, you can add me on Instagram at dctitleguy. Thanks for watching.